Hello there all my little rainbows and welcome to the world of Technicolor. Our new intro, new hair, new ear hole, well it's new location. Giant fucking watermark on the screen because I'm currently using the free trial ver version of my editing software because I'm completely broke. Oh, my mother buys me everything and she only has $23 in her bank account until payday so this is gonna- and I have to work for now. Anyway, if you're wondering why I'm being so quiet and why I'm getting so close and intimate with my microphone, that's because I'm currently recording this in the break room at my mother's office space, and this is the quietest building on the planet. Imagine, if you will, a library. But not just any library, the quietest library in the world. So quiet that you're concerned about breathing too loudly. So quiet that you could literally hear a pin drop from the other side of the building. That is my mother's office space. So about the game that I'm going to be playing today, I was browsing through the free-to-play section on Steam looking for something interesting and I stumbled upon a game called When the Darkness Comes and it piqued my interest because according to the description, and this game is meant to simulate feelings of depression and, and anxiety. Now, quick trigger warning, if you suffer from depression or anxiety, this video may not be a safe experience for you, so it's alright if you need to cl click off and go watch something else. So, another quick little disclaimer. Okay, I have not been diagnosed with any type of mental disorder or mental illness that is related to depression or anxiety. I do, however, struggle with very intense social anxiety and I have experienced panic attacks multiple times, so I do know what that is like. And I've also had um, depressive episodes sometimes where for like one or two weeks I will feel like slightly sad and slightly pissed off but mostly apathetic, like to the point where I almost want to cry or throw a temper tantrum just so I can feel something. And during these episodes, I am completely unable to do anything except lie in bed, stare at the ceiling, and wallow in my own self-pity. In hindsight, I really should talk to a psychiatrist. <laughs> but anyway, I'm playing this game because I know that this stuff is not triggering for me personally, but it could be triggering for some other people out there, so if you need to click off this video, that is totally fine. So yeah. Also, something else, this is my third time recording this video, because the first two times I was testing out a new recording software and I wanted to try it because I know there are a couple of big YouTubers that use the software, but I could not figure out how to work it. And it kept getting overloaded and corrupting the game capture file. Also, this is the third time recording this and I'm just gonna use the default uh, game recorder that comes with Windows 10 and hope everything goes well. So let's go ahead and launch the game. Okay, so we're in the game and as soon as you boot it up there's a couple of disclaimers which I couldn't hit record in time to catch but it was saying like um same stuff I warned you about earlier about depression and anxiety. It also said that um um, there's also going to be a lot of flashing lights in this. Well, obviously it's going to be flashing lights because it's a video game. So if you have photosensitive epilepsy, it uh, might not be a good video for you. But let's go ahead and read this warning. This experience is not for everyone. If you suffer from depression or anxiety, seriously, do not play and leave now. This experience will gather some basic local data from your computer. This data is never transmitted. This experience will create files to save its own progress and reinforce the gameplay. Those files are simple text or image files. If despite all this you still desire to play, click continue. And this is something I found really interesting. When you mouse over continue, it turns red. When you mouse over quit, it turns green. Like it's telling you that, like it's subtly trying to tell you that quitting would be the better option but I'm going to click continue and if you can and if you continue watching this video that's all your own choice continue when the darkness comes start the experience oh 
yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, so when I was playing the game earlier, that I got some really, really bad lag, which made it super difficult to navigate the environment, but I uninstalled a bunch of super old files, and it looks like everything's running a lot smoother. Ooh, that's creepy. Hello. <coughs> Hello. No. <coughs> Hello. Yeah, that's better. Um, Hello, new player. Welcome to this experience. And thank you very much for downloading it. Uh, no, that's that's too confident. There's no um, such thing as too confident. Hello. <laughs> thank you very much for downloading this. Uh, oh, and uh, best of luck, I guess. And finally, welcome. Oh yeah, this is a lot better. Yep. Yep. That's that's the game. Yeah, I'm just appreciating Why how much better this is exactly. running. This this is this is the game. Yeah, just get some confetti, particles, get a text in a room, dark room. Here's something very traffic. interesting. When you actually press uh, Alt F four. Feel free to leave. Um, That's bye. what pops up. That, that was fun. Thank you very much I for coming. I got an achievement the first time bye. that happened. Notice that uh, like ticking in the back. That's gonna show up a lot. Ooh. So you're Hello. either very patient, which would be a good thing, or very persistent, which I think would be a good thing too, or very stupid, which is less of a good thing. Or you are just plain annoying. Well, there's definitely some people because out there who it's think not I'm hard bad. To press <laughs> on and just leave the game, you know. Um, so I'm Alt F4. Just trying to think of something that could make you leave. Uh, what can I make easily? Oh, I know. Maybe I can just add a door there. Yeah, just just right there. Just take that door, and you Hate should this be able part. to leave the game. Thank you very much. Yeah, 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 you, that's, that, the door, yeah, that door, yeah, just, just open the door, <sighs> once it's open, it, it will close again, and you, you win, that's, yeah, you win once you open the door, uh, uh yeah, you, you know how to open doors in games, right, just press F, and it should open, or maybe it was E, uh, it depends on the game, I don't remember what, it, what I actually, action key I it's said, um, tiny um, maybe it's just click, or maybe, maybe it's a trigger, maybe, Maybe you can just step step out, yeah, try stepping out again of the door and try 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 coming again towards the door. Maybe it will open. No. <sighs> no, um But these things I, I actually, try like move to open it from my end for just a sec. Ah, oh, you fuckers are creepy. Um, welcome again. Welcome. <laughs> I, I fought your left. Welcome, you. Um, didn't you go through yeah, the exit portal? Yeah, now it's time to leave me alone. Ah, yes, you did. Um, why are you still here then? Oh, uh, that's so weird. Um, <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna have to just make another door behind you. Um, just go through it and it should exit your game. Sorry you, about just that. Just believe me. Sorry about that too. <laughs> I just just wanted to try that out. I'm sure you didn't fall for it, but I just had to try. Um, now, uh, actually, I'm a bit busy, so I will just ask you not to touch anything and just stay calm, stay here, and I'll be right back. Shiny button. Oh, you fuckers are creepy. So, of course, you 
I love this environment. Um, well, I, I love mean, the I environments in this game. They're gorgeous. So this is a world I was working on, uh, as you can see it's far from over, far from done. Uh, maybe you can give me your opinion on this part of the world. Oh, that's some uh, good audio design. Factory. And yeah, what do you think about the, the mood or the atmosphere? Just, yeah, I'll just give you a few minutes so you can look around and then uh, I'll spawn a few buttons and you can give me your most honest feedback. Thank you. Oh, security cameras everywhere. Do you like this environment? I actually do. Like, all the environments in this game are really good. Oh. Uh. Okay, okay. Well, at, at least that's, that's honest. Uh. On to the next one, I guess. So, this one was made for some kind of underwater level. Oh, I love I these audio effects. Uh, I mean, I think it's pretty, but... The bubbles. Yeah, that's about it. What do you think? Honestly, this is really pretty. Honestly, put some sand textures on the ground. This is, this is incredible. Honestly, look how pretty that is. Okay. I keep knocking over the microphone. I'm so sorry. That's gotta be hell on the audio. And I tilted the camera too. Whoops. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, honestly, okay. Screenshot. There's your wallpaper, okay? That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay. There's another wallpaper. Honestly, I could just keep looking around this environment. This is gorgeous. I love this environment. Do you like this environment? I like it. I Ouch. really do. Okay. Um. Uh. Well, I still have another one. I do, I do. Uh, let me load it up. So, last one, I guess. Uh, I'll try to be honest at least this time. Thank you very much. Look how freaking beautiful that is. That's like hauntingly gorgeous. These environments are incredible. Honestly, I love it. I really do. Uh, you know what? Let's try something else. Mmm. Creepy. So, now that we are friends and all, <sighs> I just I want to play part. a little game with you. See, there is a market in the city. And I need you to go there and buy me a drink. Just try to okay. avoid other people. Let's play a little game. Okay, hopefully the environments are a little easier to navigate without all the lag. That is some pretty good water effects. Hello, airplane. Yeah, this place is like right next to the airport. You should go out more often. Everyone does this. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night. Oh my god. Oh my eye bags. Holy shit. That looks like bruised. Oh my god. I need to get more sleep. Just say hi. Yep. If I had a dime for every time I thought that in my head, I can hear them. Oh. Huh? Am I stuck on something? Okay. Ever. 
every time. <sighs> Arkin is on the left. Goodbye, stuff. Easy. Oh, the security cameras are back. Sorry. <laughs> this section of the game is a lot easier without the lag. Honestly, the lag was so frustrating. It made it so difficult to navigate the environment. Ha! Finally! <laughs> was about the time. Damn, you took your time. Um, well, uh, let's just play another little game. Very easy again. Um, I'm just gonna give you a few choices and you just choose whatever you think fits the conversation the best. See? Very easy, right? How are you doing? Yeah, this is the thing. I'm not fine. Honestly, it's okay to, to not be okay. You can talk about your issues, you can talk about this stuff. Like, he wants to- this guy- I mean, this is pretty heavily symbolic. It's like, he wants to talk about this stuff, but he feels like he can't, so it's literally not an option. What are you doing here? I wanted to ask you something, I wanted to see you, I want to quit. Yeah. To see you. Tell me more. Let me out. <sighs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's something I struggle with a lot with my anxiety because, um, like, I don't know, when I'm talking to some people, especially when I'm like texting, there'll be some times where I just want to check out of the conversation. Like, even if I'm talking to someone I really, really like. Like, or someone I'm really good friends with or haven't talked to in a while. Like, sometimes I just get to a point in the conversation where I'm like, let me out. Hi, Mom. Huh? Yeah. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> a while. I might have to make this a two-parter. Or just pick it up tomorrow. Okay, I'll get as much done as I can today. <sighs> I kinda ran out of time today. Oh, last question. No, I'm sorry. Let me out, let me out, let me out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, good job, really. Hey, that was some nice conversation you had there. Very, very, very deep, very meaningful. Make good choices overall, really. You choose, I think, you choose the best answers to each question. Good job. Uh, just, just wait a minute. Oh, phone calls give me such bad anxiety. This morning I had to call, like, um, a support hotline for something I had to take care of, and it gave me such anxiety. Like, even pressing the... <laughs> this was the funny thing that happened earlier. <laughs> so, okay, this block this laptop belongs to my mom and um okay. Her username for her Microsoft account is SpoxLogic1967. <laughs> so it's like reading my computer data and it thinks my name is Spock. <laughs> I 
there's a lot of instances where it like uses the name on the PC for stuff like that and honestly it probably would be creepy if it was my actual name since it's Spock. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. environments in this game are gorgeous, honestly. <laughs> There's gonna be so many points in this video where I'm just gonna like totally get rid of the face cam and be like, screenshot that, make it a wallpaper, cause it's fucking beautiful. This is so calming. Okay, just at the very end of this video, I'm just gonna like have a lineup of screenshots that I took from this game that could all like work as a wallpaper because they're so beautiful. Because wow, this game has some beautiful environments. Sorry, I'm such a like a geek for that kind of stuff. So pretty, it's so pretty. Follow the light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this took me an embarrassingly long time. Yeah, this part took me an embarrassingly long time my first playthrough. Jump. Leap of faith. Oh god. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Do not fear. Do not fall. Let the light guide you. Oh, this was incredibly frustrating my first time. Hopefully it'll be a little easier without all the lag. Whoa! Shit. It could take things a little slower. hurts my eyes because like it's hard to when you do see the light it's like hard to tell what side of the path you're on they're doing construction next door so occasionally throughout the day the eternal silence is interrupted by sawing and drilling and hammering Ooh, that was dangerous. That was dangerous. Oh, this is much, much easier without the lag. Do not despair. Seriously, okay. I know I keep talking about how much easier it is without the lag, but this was so incredibly frustrating before. It took forever. It was not easy. Keep going. I just, I'm literally flying blind. I 
wonder if this is like how Molly Burke sees the world. Okay, if you don't know Molly Burke, she's like, um, she's a blind YouTuber. She's one of my favorite YouTubers, but, um, she's blind, but she's not totally blind. She can, like, still see light. So, I wonder if this is, like, anything like what she sees the world. Like what she sees the world? <sighs> I just... <sighs> I can't English today. I just keep having weird, like, word flubs. Where's my stuffy? I have a stuffy <laughs> because stuffed animals help with my anxiety. I'm actually I'm making a shirt that says uh, "Emotional Support Teddy Bear" for uh, my favorite stuffy. Yeah, it's not this guy, but he still helps a lot. He's very pretty. God damn it. I'm gonna have to cut this pretty soon, but I just want to get to the end of the path. Oh, that like hurts my eyes. <sighs> Do not despair. I mean, the metaphor here is pretty obvious. Hey. Hello. Hey, hmm. He is probably coming back. I mean, the metaphor here is pretty obvious. It's like struggling to go on, struggling to find your way. I mean, I know that's kind of a meme that depression is like an endless abyss of blackness, but I mean, it's kind of accurate. Because, I mean, dark. I mean, it's a little accurate because, like, darkness is just, like, a lack of light. So it kind of makes sense because, like, 
depression is apathy, which is lack of emotion, so it kind of feels accurate to compare it to the lack of light. I like absence of light. Hi, Mom. I gotta wrap this up, don't I? Okay, so let me get... Oh, shit, I almost fell. Gotta get to the end of this one segment. Believe in the light. Mom is just sitting across the table staring at me. <laughs> Come on. Playing a game about depression and anxiety. Not the anxiety part. <laughs> Yeah, and you've seen me have, like, depressive episodes. Yeah. I mean, the visual metaphors in here are fairly obvious, but they're still pretty powerful. Like, I'm currently literally flying blind, trying to f navigate a path with a completely black screen, and I s can see light when I get to the edge of the path, but, like, I'm just literally flying blind <laughs> in an ocean of darkness. Up, mm. oh, oh, I'm close to the end. I made it to the end! Mm. I fall off right when I make it to the end of the bath. <laughs> okay. Huh? <laughs> They're taking down the wall. <laughs> okay, gotta cut this recording off here, but I'll be back tomorrow, which is gonna be like a split second for you guys, so. Hey everyone, editing TC here. Um, I originally intended to, to play this entire game in one video, but um, yeah, this game was a lot longer than I thought it was, so I'm gonna have to split this up into multiple parts, so. Uh oh, how unfortunate. Uh oh, how unfortunate This is a thing I hate to do But the rest will have to go in a part two So thank you very much for watching this video Oh wait, I need a new outro now, don't I? Shit <laughs> I put a lot of thought into my new intro And I completely did not come up with a new outro Thank you very much for watching this video And I'll see all of you little rainbows next time Keep on shining.